Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna go over how you could buy Pulse Chain, how you can get on the Pulse Chain blockchain and buy PLS and buy PLSX, whatever other token it is that you wanna buy, but how do you get over to Pulse Chain with these enormously, outrageously high Ethereum gas fees? Bitcoin just hit the all time high. The crypto market is just starting to really heat up again. And with that, well, Ethereum's rising as well. And when it Ethereum rises, so do the gas fees, and people are going crazy. They don't know what to do. How do you get over there? Well, I'm going to show you how I buy Pulse Chain, how I get on and off the Pulse Chain blockchain, and I don't even use Ethereum. I don't use the Ethereum blockchain. So I'm going to show you two of my favorite bridges to buy PLS right now. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna get started here right away. We all know none of this is financial advice. This is crypto. You need to do your own research when it comes to crypto, and of course, make your own decisions when it comes to building a portfolio with crypto. All right, now a lot of people have been asking this question. I know a lot of people are wanting to know, how do I buy Pulse Chain? okay? I know people ask me, hey, what exchange do I buy that PLS on? What exchange do I buy Pulse Chain on it? You recommend that, you talk about that a lot. Where do I buy it, what exchange? You don't buy it on exchanges, guys. You're too early. And that's the good news. You're early. You're early because it's not on the exchanges yet. Okay? And yes, you know what? I'll tell you straight up. Uh, these are still some of my best top cryptos that I actually still recommend here right now today. The market is pumping. Bitcoin hit its all-time high. Ethereum is pumping up. Okay? FOMO's coming in. Well, what do I recommend? Because I tell you, I'm not recommending. I don't recommend these when I don't recommend buying at the all time highs. I don't recommend buying when crypto's at the top of the markets. Okay. However, Pulse Chain, PLS, PLSX, Hex, we've got a lot of great opportunity here on this blockchain, Pulse Chain, to take advantage of some great cryptos here right now at this time. Okay. So people also ask me, hey, how do I buy PLS? How do I buy Pulse Chain? Because I know how to get off the exchanges and all that, and I'm get over onto Ethereum, but the Ethereum gas fees are gonna kill me. Exactly. I know. I understand. I hear you there. In fact, I've got crypto on the Ethereum blockchain, but if I could avoid Ethereum blockchain altogether, I will and I do. All right, I've got the crypto there, but when I go on and off ramp, on and off the blockchain with Pulse Chain, I don't go to Ethereum. Okay, I don't do it. Why? Because it's too expensive, right? So I have a couple different uh, bridges that I personally use, okay? And I'm gonna show you about these bridges. Well, like I said, right now is a perfect time for this because yes, it's FOMO's coming in, guys, right? The markets are really heating up. And the cri only cryptos that I really, really recommend right now, the top ones, okay, are the new ones. I mean, there's gonna be, there's always new ones that you get. If you can buy something that's, you know, near the, that's, that's really cheap, and you're in early with something, then that's great. You can take a risk, you can take a gamble, but don't do a lot, right? It's a risk, it's a gamble with a lot of stuff out there right now. But these ones, I, not advice, not financial advice here or anything like that, but I still stand so strong on this ecosystem and with Pulse Chain PLSX, okay? We're taking a look at this right now, PLS, we are at uh, 0 0.0015, that's 50% higher than the sacrifice price. What's a sacrifice price, maybe, <laughs> you're asking. Well, people that sacrifice and, you know, basically the very first buyers of Pulse Chain, PLS, sacrificed before the thing was even launched, right? You know, a couple years before it was launched at 0 .0001, okay? So this is only up 50% from that price. And then when you look at PLSX, same sacrifice price at 0 0.0001, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Four zeros and a one, okay? Well, this one is lower, even better of a deal for PLSX, but you need to get PLS before you can get PLSX. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is what we're gonna do. If you're new to crypto, if you're new to any of this stuff, well, of course, then you're on a, you're on a centralized exchange. You're on exchange, Coinbase, Binance, Crypto.com, Newton, wherever you are at, you need to buy some crypto, okay? So I'm not gonna go into an exchange and show you how to use an exchange because, um, not this video. <laughs> you, you can figure that out. You can go over there and you can do that. You buy that, but you're gonna wanna buy something other than Ethereum 
to do so. You can buy Bitcoin, but it's just going to make things more complicated when you use Bitcoin, okay? Because you're going to need different wallets. Now, I'm going to recommend as far as wallets now, speaking of wallets, you're going to need a wallet that is a Web3 wallet. You're going to need a wallet that will connect to different DeFi protocols, different applications, dApps, and ecosystems out here on the blockchain because you are going to get onto the blockchain. You're going to get on chain and participate in crypto the way crypto has been intended to be used. All right? And Pulse Chain's real DeFi. Real DeFi. Okay? Because it's it is real DeFi. It's decentralized and you would see when you go to like for example uh, Pulse X, okay? You'll see how that all works. But hey, let's talk about getting some PLS tokens, some Pulse Chain, all right? Now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your wallet. You're going to have a Rabi wallet or a MetaMask wallet. In fact, I highly recommend that you have a Trezor wallet or any hardware wallet to store your private key so that you're ultimately secure. You have better safety, more uh, keep your private key safe, especially as we are in this bull market. Things are heating up. If you buy a hundred bucks worth of Pulse Chain, maybe, and well, don't <laughs> It could, it could be worth a lot more than a hundred bucks, you know, by the end of the bull market. And you want to keep that protected, keep it safe. You know what I'm saying? All right. So now if you don't have a Trezor wallet, they're really cheap. They're really affordable. I recommend, I have a link down below in the description. Only use the actual official website. And I have a link to the official website, website down below in the description. You can check it out. I will also include above here, a link to another video that's pretty interesting. It's a pretty cool video that I did. It's called, it's about a wallet strategy and I talk about, uh, you know, a wallet strategy. So just want to throw that out there for you as well. Check that out. You want to get your crypto into those wallets so that you can then go and buy PLS tokens. All right. And so we're going to use one of the, I'm going to show you two different, two bridges that I use. All right. The first one is right here. Change now, change now, very simple to use. Okay, very simple to use. You can use Bitcoin, but like I said, if you are using Bitcoin, well, you're gonna have to, it'll be stored in, if you got a Trezor wallet, it'll be, you could use your Trezor wallet for this, but if you don't have a Trezor and you're just using, you know, hot wallets, well, it's gonna be, need to be something like Exodus or Atomic Wallet or something like that. And then you're gonna wanna also use a Rabi wallet, so you're gonna use several different wallets. So let's just avoid using Bitcoin, you know, altogether anyways, all right? And it's really simple. And we're going to, let's say you're on the exchange, maybe you're on, uh, may, you know, hey, maybe you're on crypto.com and you wanna buy and you get yourself some, uh, for example, some Matic, okay? And you wanna send Matic over because the Polygon blockchain is fairly cheap to use, okay? So we're gonna choose Matic over on, on the top part right here. And when you're choosing Matic, you're gonna wanna make sure that you use the Matic that you have, which is the on the Polygon blockchain, okay? So we're going to, and we are sending it, to, you sent it from crypto.com to your MetaMask or to your Rabi wallet, and it's sitting on the Polygon blockchain in your wallet as Matic. So you're going to sc scroll down here until you see this Matic, for example. So we'll click on this, and you see it says Polygon, on Matic on the Polygon network, because there is Matic on the Ethereum network too. That's why I'm saying you got to make sure that it says Polygon. And we'll put, say, 500 Matic. And we want to buy Pulse Chain, so we're going to go down at the bottom one, and we're going to select PLS. So we could easily just search for that too. Just type in PLS, and you'll see it comes up. Now, 500 Matic is going to give us 3.4 million PLS. Okay. And now the next step, once you have this, always make sure this is another a tip right here: is make sure this here is a simple number, not something like 500. 31.72683. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's something simple because you want to know it's really simple because you are going to send that amount to a specific wallet. All right. So then when you've got this selected, then you're going to click on where it says exchange. Okay. And you see now it, it will show up right here. This is what you're doing. Now it says right here at the bottom in this box right here, it says recipient wallet. This is where enter the PLS payout address. So now you're going, if you're using all the same wallet, well, you're going to go back and let's see if I open up like my Rabi wallet here, and then I will click copy my wallet address. And then I will go and I will paste it in here. Okay. And then I will click confirm. And then what I'm doing is I'm saying that I want to deposit, I want you to deposit this amount of PLS into this wallet address. Okay. 
Now, I'm not going to click confirm because I'm not actually going to send this here. Okay, I'm just showing you what to do. So that's what you do. And then when after you're on the next page, what it's going to do is it's then going to give you an address and where you are going to send this 500 Matic. Make sense? Cool. All right, the next one is Block Blend. This Block Blend is another privacy bridge that I personally use. I use this one a lot, okay? And I recommend that you could use this one too. It has a, uh, it's what's called a privacy bridge. I'll just scroll down here and I'll just show you what they say about this. So what is it? What does that mean by privacy bridge? Well, it's an easy and anonymous crypto transfers. Okay, you can instantly enhance your online security and protect yourself from prying eyes with non KYC anonymous multi chain bridging. Okay, so just like I was mentioning earlier that I have above here, I put a link to my another video where I talk about my wallet strategy. Okay. This is what I'm referring to in that video is using a privacy bridge like this to get your crypto over into a new wallet, okay? Is using this privacy bridge like this block blend, okay? So what I like to do is we'll go back up here. We're going to enter into the privacy into the bridge. So we'll just click right here we we'll see it says privacy bridge. We'll just click this. All right, this will bring us over here. Now you see where it says connect wallet? Well, you can connect wallet, you don't have to actually, okay? So you don't need to connect your wallet, right? You can just use it just like this. And you see it's already set at Ethereum to Ethereum, right? Now this one here, it has to be the native crypto, the native token for the blockchain, okay? So the Ethereum is the, Ethereum is the native token for Ethereum, right? ETH is native for Ethereum blockchain. PLS is the native token for Pulse Chain. AVAX is the native token for Avalanche, right? So we need to use the native token on that blockchain for using this bridge. So how you use this one, again, it's really simple. It's very similar to Change Now. And what you do is you just go over here and you click on where the top one where it says from. So you're going from what blockchain, okay? So like I said, we're going to keep this congruent with what we're already doing, Matic, okay? So we're using Polygon Matic. So we want to select go here and we want to select polygon right here and of course it is on the polygon network it's not on any other blockchain because it's the native token for that blockchain so we don't have to look for one that says matic polygon on this one it's really simple so then we're going to we can select down here for by the way you can select whether 50 matic 100 1000 right 10000 matic you can select which one you want to do, or you can just do custom like it is right up here and just type in, uh, you know, for example, again, 500, right? We can do it this way. And then the bottom one, we want to go to Pulse Chain, right? So we're going to select, we're going to click it and we're going to select Pulse Chain, which is right here. Okay. 500, right? You could actually do that on the next page too. You don't need to do it here, but it's, we're entering it right here just to show you. Okay, and then here's where you're going to enter your recipient address. Okay, so if you're sending it from the same wallet, of course, just on another blockchain, we're going to go back up and we're going to select our Rabi wallet and we're going to copy the address and we are going to show you here like this, right? Right click, paste in here, paste it so that you got the correct address. Okay, and then you can select your the time, the privacy level. Now, if you're new and you're like, well, how do I do this? You're unsure you're gonna be able to do it really fast? Well, select a little bit longer than five minutes to 15 minutes, okay? Because you have to do this within the time period that you select, okay? So down here, you're gonna select one of these. You can do one hour to 24 hours. You can do 24 hours to 48 hours, and then that's when it will, it could take 48 hours for it to get there. Now, so you can keep it right on like this, for example, and then you're going, to, I'm not going to click on next because I'm not actually sending this. All right, I'm just letting you know about this. But when you click next, it's then going to bring you to a page and it's going to say, send the 500 Matic to this address because it's going to send this amount of PLS to your PLS wallet address, and then you are going to then send this 500 Matic to the address that they specify for you to send it to. Really simple to do, all right? Now, as far as fees, uh, by the way, on the Change Now one, it is what it is. It's got the slippage, so you see that it was a different number than this because they work it all into the price. With Block Blend, they show you the 
the, the price is here, so nothing's hidden as well on this one, but they tell you what it is. The price right now the, is you've got this exchange, and then you've got between 0.5% and 1% for the fee plus $6, okay, for the bridging over fee. And if you've been around, if you, of course, as you can see, like this is still way, 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 way cheaper than using the Ethereum blockchain because you could be looking at what, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, you know, maybe $22, maybe you get a discount, maybe it's really cheap. Yeah, see, really cheap is like 22 bucks, 25 bucks to bridge over. But as things really heat up, well, it's getting more and more expensive to bridge over from the Ethereum blockchain to Pulse chain, right? So that's how you do this. It's really simple to do. And when you want to go back from Pulse chain to Matic Polygon or wherever it is that you want to go, well, you just flip it back and forth from you put Pulse chain on the top and Polygon on the bottom. And that's all you got to do. It's really simple to do. Makes sense. I hope you got some value from this. I hope it makes sense to you. If it does, let me know. Drop me a comment down below. Uh, smash that like button. Any questions, let me know. And I will see you in the next one.